All right, Duncan, we're all set here, mate. <clears throat> Hello everyone, it's a pleasure. Welcome to the Agave House from Beverly Hills. Duncan, it's a pleasure like always. Abby, it's a pleasure meeting you. We are here today in Beverly Hills with my son Eric, who is the art director for Agave. Obviously, Brandon is behind the cameras like always. But um, we have something very interesting today. You know, very quickly, I wanted to explain something that uh, 20, Three years ago, I created Retech Screen. And uh, the reason why I created it is because I did a study in the United States and some of the other countries. And we find out, believe it or not, that up to 75% of the women had unruly, greasy, and very curly, curly hair, and they hated it. So that's where uh, Retex Agave came live. So today, what we have for you is we have simplified everything. And I hope that uh, after this whole explanation that we're gonna do, um, we have a very clear understanding on how to apply Retex screen and chemically treated hair, because uh, it's so simple, it's amazing. Say hello, Eric. Hi guys, hope everyone's doing well. Thank you uh, for your time. And uh, we're really excited to, to finally get Retex on board uh, with you guys fully. And like Fernando said, today is really gonna be focused on uh, how to do Retex on color treated hair. Uh, and we re condensed this information to really give you guys the full scope in uh, the shortest amount of time. So we hope you enjoy. Great, uh, so basically, why don't we get right to it? Because I think we have so much information, Eric, that I think it will be nice if we can go to the motions and explain to our viewers, uh, uh, especially, you know, uh, and this treatment, which is uh, so uh, many people think, oh, it's impossible, it's hard, it's not, you cannot do it, uh, this type of treatment and this kind of hair. So mm -hmm. today we're gonna simplify it and we're gonna go step by steps. Uh, obviously our model will not be complaining, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but uh, anyhow, so let's get to it. Well, as you know, Retex Green, number one and number two it comes in this presentation and uh inside i'm going to demonstrate in the two jars cream one and cream two but before we get we get to the application eric mm -hmm. um we have written that on the board exactly all the steps and this is going to save us a lot of time because uh, uh you know without going back and forth we're going to get down to the point and uh why don't we go ahead and start with uh with the step number one. Yeah, great idea. So right now, first, uh, obviously you guys know this, but one of the most important parts, uh, even before jumping into the, the actual service, is the consultation. And um, during this consultation in particular, it's really important to have that dialogue with your client because you need to make sure that they know, uh, you know, client expectation, what the service is gonna do to their hair, and most importantly, what they've done previously to see if they can even get the service done. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's really crucial that we do the proper consultation because if you do the right consultation in the beginning, you're going you're gonna to save a lot of time and you're going to make a lot of clients very happy. Step number one, consultation is very crucial. If you have a client that uh, when, assume she comes to the chair, she comes to the salon and she's got to book an appointment with you for the retex. For consultation, the number one is we got to ask a few questions to the client. For example, uh, do you have henna in your head? Mm -hmm. And if she does, that means the procedure cannot be done. Correct. If you have sodium hydroxide, <laughs> same situation, you cannot do the uh, procedure, you cannot do the uh, agave retex rising cream. Mm -hmm. And if you have any one of these, and uh, uh, anything with sodium hydroxide, one of the, I will say, you know, say to the client, you know, it's not possible to uh, move forward with this procedure because um, you can have some serious problems with the hair, as we all know, thioglycolin and sodium hydroxide does not mix, right. which means you're gonna have breakage and uh, you want to avoid all of that. So 
That's the consultation. Second is you want to take a strand of hair. Yes, starting from the crown and you're going to wrap it around your fingers and you're going to pull it. Obviously, our model doesn't have elasticity because, you know, it's not human. But you pull it and then you, the, the, you see the density of the hair and then you release it. When you release it, the hair should go back exactly to the same position before you pull the hair, the strand of hair. Now, if you pull it and it doesn't have any elasticity and it breaks, that means you cannot do the procedure because the hair is basically uh, destroyed. And, and do it to any other chemicals. And, and my advice is do not, do not do this procedure. So let's assume we have a good head of hair and she has chemically treated hair. So we want to do, again, we're going to take a strand of hair, we're going to pull it and we release it and the hair should go back just like a rubber band. It should go back to its position, number one. That is the strand test. That's going to tell you the density of the hair when you stretch it and it goes back to the position. And you were saying, make sure to do the strand test at, in the in what part of the hair, in the nape, the crown? Well, we have three areas, which I think is really crucial. We start in the crown because the crown is the area where it's very strong and very resistant. Mm -hmm. Then you move to the nape to see how strong is the hair growth in the nape. And then obviously, as you all know, the size of the hair is a lot more fragile. You got to remember the blood circulation comes through the back and this area is the strongest and this is where the hair grows the most. Now, when the, the blood reaches to the temples, it's a lot weaker. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you got to do three tests, the top, the bottom, and the sides. Okay, great. And then the last thing we had also that we talked about was that it's really crucial um, for the air condition to not be on full blast or right underneath uh, an air conditioned in the yeah. salon, correct? That's another excellent point, Eric, because many people have the tendency to do the procedure underneath of an air condition. So you got to remember the air condition not only it slows down the process, but at the same time, when you apply the product, it makes the, the hair hard, mm -hmm. like it dehydrates the hair with the cold. So it's better to apply it in an area where you're not near, you could be in an area with the air condition, but not necessary underneath of the bed. Got it. We got a quick question from Jesse. Uh, they're asking, do you recommend doing a strain test on wet or dry hair? Basically, you do it both, wet and dry. Basically, the most accurate is in dry hair because that's the way the hair is. Now, once you do it and, and if the hair is wet, you're going to see a little more density because the hair is wet. Got it. But you do both. And then we got one from Duncan. Are there any signs that the client has henna or other products if they don't tell uh, tell you exactly during consultation? You know, this this has happened in the past, and I have done I don't know how many thousands of this through my career, mm -hmm. the last twenty some years. But I think the best thing is uh, if they if you feel that the client doesn't know, and uh, when you do this trend test, you will be able to see. Uh, uh, whether she has any other chemicals in it. What I would recommend is you take a strand uh, from the hair, you take a strand test in the back, mm -hmm. okay? And you just uh, um, do a little bit here, Eric. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You do a strand test in the back and you apply the cream and you time it. And that will determine whether the client is eligible to do it or not. If she's not telling you what kind of chemicals are in the hair. Remember, this is color processed hair. It's not a problem. Has long, she does not have any previous sodium hydroxide, mm -hmm. vanadine, or henna. So something else too that we were talking about is also a lot of times clients are on certain types of medication and maybe some it's like hormonal medication can in, uh, you know, interact with not having the, uh, either the, the product take or the longevity. Are there certain medications that we shouldn't, um, we should be aware of? Uh, the only medication that I will really be careful is if the client has taken some sort of a hormones because hormones have the tendency, because of the medication have the tendency to slow the process. Sometimes it doesn't happen. It doesn't straighten the hair. Got it. Okay. Okay, perfect. So yeah, those are the main uh, points of the consultation that we really want to address with our clients before moving forward, obviously, um, you know, you're going to be speaking to them about 
what to uh, expect when getting this treatment done. And typically with retex, you're talking about a professional or I'm uh, sorry, a, a treatment that's gonna take um, kinky curly hair and make it straight. Yeah. Now, um, I wanted to cover that point, but I'm glad you brought it up now. Just because you straighten the hair, it doesn't mean that with this particular agave retex, you cannot, three days later, when you shampoo it at home, or she comes back, you shampoo it and you, you dry it again, you can use a curling iron and get beautiful curls. Just because it's a straight, it doesn't mean it doesn't curl. It has great memory. So it is the only product in the world that I know that it has this capacity that after three days of being straight, you can take a curling iron and you can curl the hair. Got it. All right. And we got one quick question from Pauline. She says, what sort of products have sodium hydroxide in it? Oh, well, uh, for example, uh, wanadine, uh, any product that has carbonated with wanadine mm. and uh, basically those products, I stay away. They don't use that anymore. I mean, yeah. when I brought retex to the picture in this country uh, 24, 25 years ago, the only strain in the market was sodium hydroxide. And uh, today, as we speak, all of that is gone. Um, agave has become number one in the industry because of the, de of, of the development and the results of the product are so unique, it's just amazing. Uh, now you gotta remember with agave retex, you do a retouch at least uh, once every four months or, or five months. And the only thing, do you do it just retouch the roots, which we're not gonna we're not gonna get into that today because that will be for another class. Mm -hmm. So basically let's concentrate sure and, and the uh, one color process hair or two color process hair. Okay, great. So I think we can jump into the step by step now. Okay, so let's say we finish with the consultation mm -hmm. and now we are ready to protect the hair. Remember, it's color treated hair, you already done the test, and now we are going to proceed with the procedure by taking uh, 25, oh, we got to clarify the hair with mm -hmm. a clarifying shampoo. Mm -hmm. Now, if the, if the hair has too much buildup, because you know, many clients, they keep adding and adding product to the cuticle. Sometimes the cuticle is so full of it, uh, different ingredients. Sometimes you might need two agave clarifying shampoos or one, depending on the texture and the condition of the hair. After you do clarifying, you're gonna take a towel, you bring the client to the chair, mm -hmm. then you take a towel, you towel dry it. You keep it humid as much as you can, because remember that the application has to be done not in dry hair. It has to be in uh, wet hair, but not dripping wet. Mm -hmm. And one quick thing too, after you're done clarifying, make sure that you rinse with warm water, correct? Oh, absolutely. Always rinse it with, uh, with this product. Okay. So warm water only when rinsing. So what you're going to do the next steps is you're going to have uh, iron fix, which is a condition and treatment, which is great to repair the ends. That's another class. And then you're going to take the Iron Protect. In the very beginning, when I designed this product years ago, we were applying it separately. But then after doing some studies, I find out that it's not necessary. So to save time and it's the same performance, is you mix 25 milliliters mm -hmm. of the uh, 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 agave uh, iron fix, and then you put 15 milliliters of the iron protect. You put it in a bowl, you mix it, and I recommend you use this brush. Mm -hmm. Why this brush with the teeth and the brush at the other end? It's because it's dual purpose, actually three, three purposes, to separate the section, to apply the cream and to come through, not to the ends, but to the middle of the hair shaft. So this brush is unbelievable. And I believe we still have some, right? We do, yeah. And it's gonna save you a lot of time, most important. Oh, absolutely, because sometimes they use the wrong kind of brush mm -hmm. for tint. And remember, this is not applied like the tint. And I, Eric and I, we're gonna go through details in how to apply the product step by step so that um, you get a perfect result in the application. So let's say you have the products mixed. The next step that I want you to do is you're going to take the sections mm -hmm. and you're going to apply one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then you're going to take 
the top section, you hold it between your, your fingers, and you comb it through it, and you apply more product. You protect it very well, lifting the hair up, and you comb it through again. But remember, you have to comb it from the roots all the way to the ends because this product is actually protecting the hair before you apply cream number one. Mm -hmm. So as a result, it's conditioning, moisturizing, and protecting the hair. Correct. So let's say we started with application from the roots out. You already did the perimeter in section number one. Then you take the ball and you apply it underneath. You comb it through, but you do not comb it through the ends all the way to the middle of the, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm sorry, you come from the ends all the way to the end, it's my fault, I apologize. You come it all the way through. Take the next section, and you continue the same way, apply it underneath, comb it through the ends, all through, next section, and so on and so forth, you're going to do the whole head, section by section. Take the product, apply it, doesn't matter if you touch the roots, it's not gonna hurt the roots. Once it's applied to the ends, you lift it, and you apply it and you run your, between your fingers, make sure that it's well saturated, and so far and so on, and you do the whole section. Again, same procedure. This is very quick. Shouldn't take you more than four minutes for the whole uh, application of the protector all over the head. You can touch the roots, it's not a problem. Lift it, take more product, be kind with the product. Make sure it's well protected. And you go through the whole head step by step. Great. Okay, so we have finished one section. You continue with section two, three, and four. Four sections. Once you finish with the application, which should not take you more than max five minutes, okay, you're going to feel the hair in great shape. I mean, it's just the feeling of the hair is ready for cream number one. Mm -hmm. have right here. You take cream number one, which is, it says cream number one, agave retex. Then what I want you to do is you're going to take it and you're going to shake it until you feel the product is loose. Once it's loose, you're gonna take it, uh, 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 the bowl, you're gonna open it, you're gonna pour the product into the bowl, and you are going to pour only half of the jar. Even if the hair is very long, just apply half. You can always open it up and reapply again or finish the ends. The one reason I do not want you to leave the jar open is because you don't want the product to get oxidized with air. You gotta protect it at all the time, number one. Number two, it's really crucial that when you cut to cover it, and then with the bowl, if you have a little stand in the size, you know, you take the bowl and we're gonna start application and section number one, the hair is already protected. You hold it between your fingers, the whole section. You take the product and you apply one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and five. Then and that's just a that, outline, correct? That's to do the outer perimeter, the outline of the section. Correct. Then the advantage of doing that is that you don't need an assistant holding the hair. You don't need anybody to hold in the hair because the product, when you start on top, it will be held automatically by the product. So you apply it from a quarter of an inch away from the roots. Mm -hmm. A quarter of an inch, I would say, that's about a quarter of an inch. You apply it and the surface on top, only to the middle of the hair shaft. Mm -hmm. Do not apply it all the way to the ends. Remember, 
that from the middle of the hair shop towards the ends, the hair is a lot more porous. And what you do, you do not want to make a mistake because the hair towards the ends will develop so much faster than the roots to the middle of the hair shop mm -hmm. because of oxidation at the ends of the hair. Okay? So again, you apply one to three, a quarter of an inch, you lift it up underneath, you hold it between your hand, put your hand underneath the palm of your hand, and you comb it through the middle of the hair shaft, stop between your fingers, make sure you push the product in, and next section. So really quick, we have a couple questions that you just wanna get to really quick. To confirm the amounts of the protectors, guys, it's 25 milliliters for the fix, and then 50 milliliters for the protect. And to answer the second question, uh, which they wanna know, can you oversaturate with the protectors? Do not oversaturate, because if you oversaturate, you're gonna delay the, the process of the, of the straightening. Mm -hmm. So you gotta make sure that you don't underdo it or overdo it, okay? So again, the application to the middle of the hair shaft, and this is what I was talking about early, the, the, the performance of this particular comb. Then you comb it through the middle of the hair shaft. The product has already been applied on top, underneath. You comb it from the top. Do not touch the roots. In the event that you do touch the roots, what I want you to do, use the tail of the comb and you clean it. Do not allow it to stay in the scalp. What's gonna happen if it goes in the scalp? You just clean it and that's cool, not a problem. Okay, so again, next section. I'm doing this slowly. You take cream number one, a quarter of an inch away from the scalp to the middle of the hair shaft. You lift it all the way to the middle of the hair shaft. Make sure that you are generous with cream number one. And I'll tell you why. Because if you do not oversaturate it, the hair is gonna get hard. Which means because the hair, imagine you're walking in the desert and you're really thirsty and you need water, that's exactly what the hair needs. So that's why the cream number one has to be applied generously to keep it moist at all times. Okay, so we finish with the application and so far and so on, and you continue all the way towards the end. Same thing, to the middle of the hair shaft, you take your fingers and you push the cream all the way to the middle of the hair shaft. Yes? Come through. We have one more question about the Protect. Yes. They wanna know, can you apply it after you've applied cream number one on top? We're gonna to get to that in a second. Okay. Just remind me, okay? Okay, so we finish, we're about to finish with the application, middle of the hair shaft, underneath, comb it through, the middle of the hair shaft, comb it through, push it with you between your two fingers, and make sure that it's saturated properly. Do not go to the ends, okay? And you do the same thing, And you finish with section number one. Once you finish with section number one, hold on a minute. What I want you to do is I want you to comb it again and make sure that you keep this straight. Okay? Do not bend it. Do not put a towel underneath and have this a crease. It's gotta be straight. Okay, so you're allowing the product to proceed to get perfect smoothing, straightening, okay? And then you take the next section that you already apply and you, you run it again, push it, and you pull it down, straight. And you do the whole section. Once you finish with the application and section number one, you go to section number two. You do exactly the same thing, applying it from a quarter of an inch of the roots to the middle of the hair shaft. And you already saw me how to apply the product. Be generous 
and keep the hair moist. Okay, you do section one, two. Now we're going to section number three. This particular section in the head is going to develop a lot faster. So by that time, this is already had at least five minutes during the process. So you're going to do this. The difference in section number three is that you're not going to uh, do the perimeter of the hair. What you're going to do is you're going to go straight underneath because this is a much faster middle shaft, next section. I, I have time myself. I can do a whole application in seven to eight minutes, you know, and you go on so forth and so on until you finish all the sections where you apply in a quarter of an inch away from the scalp, utilizing your fingertips to push the product, use the comb and tree uh, benefits, which are the, rat, the, the tail, the comb, and the brush. This is a great brush, by the way. I designed it. <laughs> okay, done. So we're done with section one, two, three, and four. Are we together? Any questions? We just had that one question about the Protect. They want to know, can you apply it uh, after you've applied cream number one to any of the, uh, any of the hair? Okay. We finish with the application. We're going to be doing a strand test. This was the first section. I want you to go to the crown. Okay. You take the, uh, the hair and you hold it from the ends. You pull it and you pull it and it should go back. And it, sh it, it should be a nice loop underneath. You wiggle it like that and the hair should be totally straight. If it's still not straight, that means you still have to keep it for three minutes and then you recheck it again. But the most important thing in the testing is the elasticity. When you do this and you pull it, and if it breaks, that means it's ready to be rinsed out. And you have to pull it through in the shampoo bowl and it's ready to be rinsed out. Obviously because, you know, um, we haven't applied the product. Now, your question. Yeah. Can we use the Ion Fix and Ion Protect to delay? Yes. Correct. What I want you to do is if you see that the hair where you started the application on top is already been developed and the rest is not, then you take the product and you put it on. Um, if it's already, you can take a, what is the water? Oh, the spritzer, yeah. Okay, you take a spritzer, mm -hmm. you put a towel underneath, you take the spritzer, you put it on, right? And you put the product on and that will delay and protect the product and wait until the rest of the head is done. So Ion Protect, Ion Fix are the medical products to protect and delay the process. Okay, so I guess, was that the question? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I think we're good. I think we're good. So we can move on to, um, now that we've done the full application for cream number one, let's move on to the rinsing. So you're gonna take- Well, no, we gotta come through. Oh, correct. Right? So what we're gonna do now, we finish the application. This develop, is developing quickly. So we gotta stop the, the, the process by applying uh, Ion Fix and Ion Protect. And that will delay the, 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 the process until you finish with the rest, right? So let's say you're done. So I want you to go back to the underneath and comb it from, from uh, the middle of the hair shaft all the way down once. And you apply the ends, the product. Use your fingers again, all the way to the ends. So let's and just reiterate take that. Take the product, point. apply it. Push it through, make sure you're really generous with the product, and you do that. And the reason why you're reapplying through the ends is because they're more porous, correct? So you're, yeah, because you're the, the ends are gonna take very quickly, correct. especially if it's color treated hair, or in, in some occasions, you might have some highlights in it. Okay. So which reacts a lot faster, okay? So again, middle of the hair shop, you take the cream, you apply it, comb it through, use your fingers, and make it straight all the way down. Okay and so far and so on through the whole head. Okay, so now we test it. Mm -hmm. Everything is cool. Uh, I would suggest that you should test 
in the beginning every five minutes for color three the hair. If it's very coarse, thick hair, I would say let it go for eight to 10 minutes before you do a second testing. Okay, but uh, normally to secure and feel better and more secure, I will do it every five minutes. Now, what would happen if uh, the product is being on for 30 minutes and you still see some curl pattern? Okay, well, certain areas already developed, other areas have not quite developed. So what I would do, I'll take my client after you do the strand test, I take my client to the shampoo bowl and in the areas where it has not been developed, I take cream number one, okay? I put a little water in, in the shampoo bowl and I put the cream and I comb it right through and saturate it even more. Three minutes, it should be done. Got it. Okay, that's just like tricks of the tray. <laughs> so then once the application is complete and the processing has been completed, you take the client back to the shampoo bowl and yep. you rinse with warm water. Yep. Okay. And you make sure to clean the nape in particular, right? Because you're saying the nape is very difficult. Through all clean. the years of been doing this treatment, the one area that is always you need to focus really well, like Eric just mentioning, very rinse very, very well with warm water. No cold water. If you rinse it with cold water, you might have a problem with the curl revert. You need warm water. Yes, after you rinse it with warm water, all the way through, make sure that the nape area, which is the most difficult, you make sure that you rinse it for at least 10 minutes until you see the water coming out crystal clear. That means there's no more product in the head. Great, we have one question. They wanna yeah. know, you mentioned keeping the hair straight when you're doing the process or when it's processing. Uh, it has to stay stick straight, right? You don't want to put any curl or bend to the, the subsection. And then they rec they're recommending uh, straightening boards. Do you recommend using boards to keep it straight or just as long as no, it stays straight? No, no, you don't need to use boards. Okay. Uh, just as long as you keep it straight is enough. Uh, normally the chair comes to the shoulder, so if the hair is longer, it goes above, so it's okay. And then one more, can you apply to previously permed hair? Yes, because it's uh, it's a thio. It's, it's, right. it's, it's the same. It's a reverse sperm. Yeah. yeah. We had a question. They wanted to see if you could show the amount of product you were talking about uh, when you apply it to the section. Like, because you're saying use a generous amount. What they want to know what's considered a generous amount. Well, I would say it's a little bit difficult, but I would say when you when you ready to apply the product, you know, you 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 can tell uh, the hair has to be moist. I I don't. I don't recommend that you apply over so much product that you see the, the, the product on top of the hair. The product has to be totally uh, uh, combed through and, and soft. You, you notice, you will notice if the product needs, if the hair needs more product. When you begin to see that the hair is getting hard, that means all the product has been sucked into the cuticle of the hair, so it needs more product. Okay, as long as you don't see box of product mm -hmm. or white product on there, just come it through and, and make it moist, make it, you, you will be able to see the hair shiny, you know, uh, and very soft, soft cuticle. Perfect. All right, so then after we do the rinsing, then we take them back to the chair and that's when we do uh, the quick blow dry, correct? Uh, yes, now, you gotta remember the hair has already, um, going through uh, some chemicals in, in the cuticle mm -hmm. and you want to be gentle with the hair. So after you rinse it, you take, after you rinse the head, you take a towel, you towel dry it, mm -hmm. right? And you take that brush with a comb and you over section and use the paddle brush because the paddle brush do not use a wire or a bristle brush because that will pull the hair. And remember the hair is fragile. Mm -hmm. So use this and you take, after it's all rinse, if it's tangled, you detangle it. Okay, you detangle it, you detangle it, the whole head, and then you do section half of the back of the head across, and you dry section one, two, and three. And the size, two sections, 
one and two until destroy. Perfect. Okay, I think we covered that area. Yeah. And then now moving on to the ironing, which is probably the most important, I would, I would say, right? When doing well, the no, you have to use the blow dryer. Take the blow dryer and you dry it properly, like I just showed you with a brush. Once it's dry, you're going to feel the hair very nice and soft. If the hair feels hard, like, 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 like it has a buildup, two things. Either it was not rinsed properly, or you need to take it back and apply more product, okay, after you test it for a couple of minutes, and then rinse it. Rinse it really well. Normally, if it's hard, it's because the product was not rinsed properly from the cuticle, mm. okay? So blood dry it, we are ready to wind. Great. We're gonna divide the hair into four quads, like we do the procedure. And we recommend the agave single pass because it has the silicone strips and the size. And that has obviously the mineral that I uh, uh, patented 25 years ago, and we still own that patent, no one else does. It has a strip one, a strip two, that presses the hair, gives the hair shine, and you do not need to pass the hair so many times. Yes, with this product, what you're gonna do is, I want you to do seven passes. Okay, you're gonna start on the bottom of the first section that we work. You're gonna take the first section, half an inch, right? Oh, this is off, who's up? Who's up? Now, this is really important and it's crucial. This is a big mistake that a lot of hairdressers, unfortunately, because they feel that they know everything. And even myself, after 50 some years in the industry, I'm still learning. And it's really crucial that you guys take the time to do a, a test with the iron, the correct temperature. How do you determine the correct temperature in the iron? You start at 300 because it's color treated. You start at 300. Right now here we have, uh, it's 450, uh, so we gotta go to 300. And remember guys, this is, we're talking Fahrenheit, so for you Celsius would be about 150 Celsius, starting at 300 Fahrenheit. I will say you start at 300. Mm -hmm. 300, okay? And what I want you to do is, you put your left foot forward, you bend your knees, okay? Remember, I'm the first one who came out with irons. When I came out with the irons, no one has irons. Only this all irons for African-American hair, which they were horrible. But anyhow, this iron has dual thermostat and it can go up to 450. I don't know what Celsius is that. Yeah, but, it's close to 225. All right, so what I want you to do, can you hold this area? Okay, you're gonna hold it with your fingertips like that. And you're gonna go, one, two, three, four, and then put your comb underneath, five all the way to the ends. Put your comb on front of the iron, and six. If you, got, you have to go one more, go ahead, because this iron will protect the cuticle. Remember, the hair has to be dry. Do not iron the hair if it's wet, because then you will not burn or melt the hair. Okay? So there you have it. Okay? It's nice and shiny. You take the next section. I would say about a half an inch. Again, you go one, two, three, four, five, all the way towards the end. Put your comb underneath to catch the hair. Six and seven. I do seven this time. All the way, let the hair come out of the iron. Do not open the iron. A lot of people open the iron. No, you gotta let the hair come out of the iron automatically without opening the iron. 
You had a quick question, Dad, about um, what other pro iron you'd recommend if they don't have a bioionic or agave iron? God, that's, that's, the towel, right? that's like recommending my dress, my <laughs> my dessert to another restaurant. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can only speak for myself. Of Fifty-two years and thirty years of making tools. Um, there are some irons, uh, but most of those irons require a lot of passing through right. because do not have our mineral that protects the cuticle, mm -hmm. our silicone strips, which gives shine, and and the silicone strips is exactly like the bioionic that I created uh, fourteen years ago. So uh, if you can get an agave one pass. Otherwise, if you get another iron, you might have to go through at least 10 to 12 passes. Okay? And and I, I cannot guarantee how much will protect the cuticle. And you recommend ceramic? No titanium? Uh, no titanium. Titanium is no good. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't like to talk bad about products, but titanium, no. Correct, correct. Okay, perfect. I think the okay. ironing is good. So now the uh, whole head is completely ironed. Now it's ready for cream number two. Okay, let's assume we iron the whole head, ready to go. Put the iron away. Mm -hmm. But remember, I want to emphasize on this point, guys, because it's really crucial that you remember before whether you do color and you're going to, after blow drying the hair and you're going to iron. I want you to make sure you check the temperature of the iron because the iron, most irons remove the color. After, after you do a color, you take an iron and removes the color. So you gotta be very careful. So make sure that you check the temperature at all times by doing a strand test and decide what temperature you're gonna be utilizing, you're gonna be using for the whole ironing of the head. Okay, she's ironed totally ready to go. You want the hair? She's gonna fall in love. Believe me, it's it's gonna be fantastic. So you do four quads again, one, two, three, four, and now we get ready for cream number two. This is a neutralizer. Again, you open it, you pour half of the jar, and you close it so it doesn't oxidize. Okay. And you're going to start the application exactly the way we started creaming one. Except that in this case, you can go through the roots and it's not going to hurt the roots. So you apply it through the roots, do the perimeter on top and the sides underneath. And then once that's done, you take the cream and you're going to do exactly the same thing. In this case, you're going to apply the cream from the top underneath and you're going to run it all the way through the ends boom all the way to the ends not to the middle of the hair shop you're going to run it all the way to the ends because actually what we're doing is we are sealing the bonds of the head so therefore the only thing i want you to do you got to make sure that you're generous with the product because if you're not generous with the product the hair is going to get hard and if you apply it in an area where there's too much air condition, it's going to be late and it's going to get hard. So therefore, make sure they're over generous, generous with the product. Now, with cream number two, I will keep an extra jar in case because cream number two, the head utilizes more of cream two than cream one. Correct. So always keep an extra one to make sure that you don't run out of neutralizer. Yeah. A you run out of neutralizer, you're in trouble. It will not be neutralized. <laughs> a lot of our stylists currently do that. We'll buy a full kit and they'll buy an extra number two individually. So something to keep in mind. So we went through the application, which is exactly the same. One, two, three, and four. This application should not take you more than seven minutes, eight minutes at the most. And then you're going to give um, seven minutes uh, for the product to um, remain in the hair. If you go 10 minutes, it's okay. But what's going to happen, you got to watch it because when you finish the application with cream number two, you, you got to check it again section by section and keep reapplying. Make sure that it doesn't get hard on you. Mm -hmm. Okay? 
And that will ensure you at 100% results, spectacular results with agave remix. Great. So then once the whole head is completely neutralized and you wait that extra seven minutes, you take them back to the bowl, you rinse them out again, correct? Yep. Warm water, remember, only warm water during the rinsing. Make sure that you do get the nape in particular, so you get the full head completely rinsed until the water runs clear. And then after that, you take them back to the chair for a blow dry. Now, question, do you need to iron the hair after you rinse cream number and you dry cream, uh, after you rinse cream number two and you blow it, dry the hair, do you need to iron it? In some occasions, yes, other occasions, no. Depends. Okay, and if you're gonna iron, you're just gonna take thick sections and just go over because the hair is already neutralized. Mm -hmm. And the only thing you're doing is you put in some shine with the silicone strips in the hair. Okay, so once you iron it again, the, the client is done. But what I wanted to suggest mm -hmm. to you, which is really crucial, you know, sometimes as, as hairdressers, we get so bogged down with wow, look at the kind of work that I do, I'm the best. And, and you forget about money in your pocket, right? So the key here is that if you're going to provide a service, you gotta provide a full service to your client. You want your client to buy the product from you mm -hmm. and instead of going to a drugstore and buy something that is not good. We all know that story, right? But the beauty of this is how much will you charge for a pretex, we have three prices. Obviously, if it's chin length, I will say $300 to $400. If it's below the shoulders, you can go up to $400, $450. And if it's way down here, you can go up to $800 to $750 to $800. If you ask me how much I charge, I just did one uh, uh, Saturday and they paid me $1,600 and it took me two hours. Not bad, I took everybody for dinner. <laughs> okay, so let's get serious here. We are ready for the client, she's happy, and she is um, uh, uh, gonna ask you, how do I maintain it? What do I do it? You're gonna say, you're not gonna wash it for three days. You're not gonna put the hair behind your ear because you don't want to mark. The hair is still fragile, okay? Just brush it with the agave brush, do a little stimulation, mm -hmm. it's fantastic. Bring the natural oils out. And before she goes and pays, you're going to give this for free, <clears throat> yes? Because this is maintenance after the treatment. However, you're going to add it to the cost of the procedure. So let's say you charge 450. Well, this is a gift, it's included already in the service. And sometimes in some occasions you say, hey, by the way, you're gonna need the mask. This is for free, but the mask is a super hydrator that is going to hydrate your hair uh, when you go to the beach, whenever you go exercise, when you go to the gym. This is a miracle product, honestly. You know, I'm not trying to sell, I'm just trying to recommend what is necessary for the client to be happy and to maintain her hair 100% beautiful. So this is a gift and she pays for the mask. And if you do some of the math guys too, you get two services a week. You're talking about, let's just say each service is about 500. You're talking about a thousand dollars a week. Multiply times four, you're talking about 4,000 a month. Multiply that by 12, you're talking about close to $50,000 off one service if you do it two times a week. So it can add up quickly. Well, you know, that's the other key. You know, uh, we as hairdressers sometimes complain that we don't make enough money. But like Eric say, just do the math. It's very, very simple. You know, you do four. Once every day, you do one. Or let's say you do three a week. Multiply, like you said, multiply, multiply three. By 3, 000, yeah, 3,000 a week, and then you're talking about close okay. to uh, by, by a month, yeah. by Three six a month. months, by a year. And you know what I do? I tell the hairdressers every time I do any kind of shows or I do classes, I, do, I have a board, a written board, 
and I go and I paint a beautiful BMW Mercedes. And then I paint, uh, I put a picture of a house with an ocean view. And I said to them, do you want this? You can have it. If you don't get it, it's because maybe you really didn't want it. Because if you apply to the system, you can get it. If you use your head and you're smart and you're only doing great things, not only for your client, changing the personality, make them feel great and great, good looking, but also you are making money. So this is something that I really definitely recommend. You can make over close to 100,000 extra a year, but you gotta have, if you wanna have results, you gotta have discipline. You cannot get results without the discipline. And if you have passion for what you do, you apply to it. And believe me, there is always plenty of time to have a great time, to travel and enjoy life. Eric? I think that sums it up, guys. You were awesome, son. <laughs> Anytime. Next time, you don't need me. The guy is here, you know? <laughs> well, by the way, all the three boys worked with, uh, with me for, I don't know, since even when they were in college. And they know the company. They know the products. They know everything inside out. And for me, it really is, 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 is so, it makes me so happy and so pleased that it's a business family. And Agave is doing well. Thank God, even with this pandemic, it's mm -hmm. doing fantastic in many other countries. And uh, I recommend this product because you know what? This is a product where you can make a good chunk of money. Or one of the other two uh, smoothies that we have, like the agave smoothie and the uh, natural uh, agave natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You we know? have uh, one more quick question. Uh, what are your tips when treating bleach? <laughs> no, now, I, how much for, time do we have right now? Another class, maybe. No. We need to do another class. We yeah. need to do more. Like, I got to tell you, for bleach hair, I charge more money. Number one. Number two, what I do, the application in two different sections. I do the back first. But before you do anything, bleach hair, virgin hair, anything, do a strength test. That is going to save you a lot of time, a lot of problems and you're going to sleep well at night, okay? So do the strand test. If it passes strand test, let's say she had uh, uh, number seven or number eight. Now, if you have number nine or 10, forget it. You can't do it. It's just the hair is so brittle that, 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 that you pull it and it just falls apart, yeah. you know? I would say recommend do not do it more than a level seven, eight max, you know? But what you do in that case, very quickly, I'll give you the $1 million answer okay so you can go and make a lot of money so you do the back first yes and you wait for the back to develop yes once it's done you rinse it off and then you do the two sides and normally the procedures the procedure time with chemically treated and highlighted not highlighted but bleach hair that's i will say you gotta be very fast when you apply the product because the hair is so porous and with all the, the dehydration and the bleach and the hair, it's going to take it three to four minutes. I will say you can do the back in five minutes, rinse it off. Okay. And keep checking it every minute, check it, check it, check it, because you want to make sure that the hair is going to be, when you finish, it's going to be in great condition. You do half first, you rinse it out, towel dry it and do the front. Mm -hmm. Once it's done, you rinse it out. And then the, the next procedure is the same, whether you're doing virgin hair or what have you, you know? And the retouch is another class. Mm -hmm. And we can talk about retouches in our next class. We had one more question. They want to know about the formula. Has it changed at all from when it was bioionic to agave? None. That's one thing that I wanted to make sure that what I created 26 years ago is still remained the same. And what we have done, we have improved the formula because in the old days, we used to put a, 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 a cap over the head to, to speed up the process. Uh, many times, I mean, when I created this in Japan, you know, 20 some years ago, retex was not created, believe it or not, to straighten hair. I created this product to soften that cuticle and get rid of the unruly hair. So when I created this product, 
you know how oriental hair and hispanic hair are really wiry even if they're not really curly curly but when you apply this product it's soft enough the cuticle and it makes it so shiny and so beautiful it's just amazing but then later on when we did the studies the 75 percent of the american women have curly and really frizzy hair and there was no other straightenings then i decided to launch it into the u.s market and i mean we clean house it was just amazing and the product is better and better and better mm -hmm. perfect last one do, we, do we apply a conditioner after neutralizing has been rinsed uh yes the mask again this is the miracle product Okay, once you uh, get rid of the uh, neutralizer and you want to uh, make the hair add more moisture to the hair, use the agave mask. And leave it in for how long? Five to ten five minutes? minutes? Five, five to minutes. ten minutes. Perfect. And believe me, you're going to the beach. Well, it's, 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 it's winter over there. But you're going to the beach, you take the agave mask, you put it on your hair when you sound baby. And if you get burned, you know, like, so how many times you get like red like a lobster, right? And you go to the hotel and you can't even sleep because you ache all over your body and you're really red. Take the agave spray and you put it on to protect your hair. And when you get home to your room, you apply it when you go to sleep. Trust me, it's a miracle. I burned my hand. I literally, I was doing a show and I grabbed the curling iron by the hand. I wasn't looking, I grabbed it and it burned my whole head. My whole hair, like this, my hands, one, two, three, four, five fingers. I mean, it was amazing. I took the product, I poured it on. Next day, it was perfect. So I recommend these products are key products, just like all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really been great. I hope you guys really enjoy the class. Um, um, hope that we were able to communicate properly. And uh, uh, any questions? By all means, please uh, send them to Brandon. We were more than happy to give you the proper answer. And uh, I can't wait to go back to Australia. I mean, I miss it. I was there a couple of times and, uh, you know, we're going to wait until this COVID situation gets better over there. I don't know how you guys are doing here. Everything is open. All the salons are open. Restaurants are open. People who've been vaccinated, they do not need a mask. And uh, things are getting back to normal. Please be safe. Take care. God bless. Eric, Brandon, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Duncan.